So we're going to demo level one service orchestration through multiple domains and multiple vendors. Um, we're going to initiate this through Blue Planet GUI. This is by our Sienna vendor. Um, right now, we're just going to pick two endpoints um, to do the service uh, orchestration through. Um, we're going to first initiate this first route, and I'll tell you a little bit about this route after we create it. We're going to go through multiple vendors, and each vendor has its own path computation engine that's going to pick the best route um, within that domain. And so what we did for this demo is we're stitching those best routes together to make our ideal optimal route. Um, so you can see this. The first two endpoints we chose were this, and our path computation engine found that best route. Um, You'll see when we, uh, when we initiate more routes, uh, a, a different path will be, need to be chosen, chosen since uh, these ports are no longer available. They are taken with the first route. So let's go back to the Blue Plant GUI. It's, um, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute for a route to be discovered um, and then uh, the service to be provisioned. And you can see right now that it took four segments um, that are activating. So right now, the, the route was just found. And um, you can see that it went Minneapolis to Atlanta was en route. We just put those two in nodes uh, into the system. And we don't really care which route it picks. We just want the fastest route. And in this demo, we. We configure the fastest just by being the least hops. But in the future, we plan on making it where we can do the least amount of latency, or we can have it geographically the, the shortest route. Um, and that will be how our path computation engine inside of Blue Planet determines uh, the optimal route. So right now, we're just going to kick off our second route. It's going to be very similar to the first one. So our path computation is finding, finding the optimal route. Um, the next time we go through, we'll see this port is no longer available. So it's now going to go through uh, another node. And now there'll be five segments that it, it's choosing. So the second route's being created. Um, we can go to the Infinera controller. So our three vendors that we're using is Infinera, Coriant, and uh, Sienna. And so this is the Infinera controller to just showcase that these routes are actually creating services inside of their controller. And um, we can also just look at the service path on one of those. Yep. So we, we can, it doesn't show too much in the controller, but we can see there's two uh, endpoints and a link in between it. It will show that in all of the three controllers we use, but um, for this demo, we, we're just showing the Infinera one. And so this one is now activated. There is service on it. We can um, run a RFC test, uh, which we'll bring up right now. And so we're going to run that test. And this is just to prove that, yes, there is bandwidth on that service that we just created. And let's go back to Blue Planet GUI. And we'll go ahead and run our last route. So we're going to go back, and the third route is going to be created. And like I said earlier, that this will have to use a different node since those ports are no longer available. So now our path computation engine is going to need to figure out what, we, what can we do to get to those two endpoints. And this, this last route will showcase that it needs to go through a, an additional node. And now there will be five segments in this new route instead of four segments. So pull it up here. It's activating. Again, this is Blue Planet is what we're orchestrating through. We're using the GUI for this demo purposes, but you can also use uh, API to initiate, kick off these uh, routes. Um, so it's, it's just similar. It's a pretty flexible system. We built the the path computation engine inside of Blue Planet, and that used their service templates that goes down to the three different RAs for the three vendors. And um, once they pull up their best routes, we stitch them all together. And as it's activating now, 
during the activation, what it's doing is it's just going through uh, the controllers and getting returned the best routes. And we can show the test now. Yep. And as you can see, there's 10 gig service uh, that is on the, that route that we created earlier. So, and now the, this third route is just wrapping up here. The whole route is uh, displayed in the Blue Planet GUI. And yep, you can see that it now uses a different route from the, the previous two.